Hello everybody, welcome to hole number 5, a par 4 of the Sequoia Creek and also hole number 5 in the Grand Forest Tournament. You can find this hole on tour number 6, the US Champions Tour. The video is sponsored by Golf Clash and Play Demic. And before we start, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also visit golfclashtommy.com for more Golf Clash related content for free. Last but not least, Get the best guides on the market by going to patreon.com slash golfclashtommy. We will there help you to improve your game even more. So, let's take a look at hole number five. And here we can play this drive in two ways. One, uh, that is to go and try to get the ball to green or very close to it. And if we do have a tailwind, I would strongly advise you to try to do so. Sure, now you see me playing with an extra mile level 8, which is a little bit higher in terms of what I do feel is a general club played in rookie. But picture yourself playing with a lower, le lower level extra mile and a power 3 ball and you will still be able to take a similar shot like this. You will still be able to reach to the fairway. The only thing that will be a difference is that I use 6 bars of topspin here and you will only be able to use 4.5. And the four and a half bar top swing will obviously not reach as far down the fairway as six bars will do. So the better drive you have, the better chance you will have to get closer to the green. No matter what though, you will still be able to reach close to the green. So you will have either a wedge or a short iron, a short iron to the pin when it comes to using a lower level driver instead. Maximum distance, no elevation for that shot. I'm playing in between the trees, which obviously in itself is a bit difficult as if you do hit a very bad drive, you might clip the tree, but the risk is worth it due to the master reward we will get. If you do lay up in some form, let's say that you bounce on the fairway over to the fairway because you either you have a very, very low, uh, low level bag or in that way you just don't feel comfortable by going in between the trees and you just want to take the absolute safest route possible. And here in the end I'm using a long iron towards the pin using two to three bars of backspin and trying to aim directly at the pin. Here we will, in many of the cases, play medium distance of our club, but as always, when it, club, it comes to club distance, we need to check in what, like, in what terms of distance we are. So, medium distance, and then we do have a 10% over adjustment to use as well as we're playing this one downhill. Unfortunately, I do hit a great left, and that great left will take my ball to the left of the pin. A perfect would have been pretty darn close, though, and that will still be a good chance making an eagle here from distance. Oh, uh, distance. But obviously, the more we push the drive, the closer to the green we get, the better chance it's going to be that we do make an eagle. The video here is sponsored by Gold Clash and Play Demic. Make sure you hit thumbs up before you go, and also uh, send us an email to support at goldclashtommy.com if you do have any questions. Thank you so much for watching and good luck in your Gold Clash game.